Hey YouTube, it's Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions. I'm going to show you how to install Discord in Ubuntu. Okay, so you might run into an error when you try installing it the usual way with this Debian package. So this is what I will demonstrate. Yeah, so you might get this error and it, I actually made a video on this for Kali, but I decided to also make one for Ubuntu because this is probably the distribution that most of you will, will be probably using. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to fix this. And to start, let's remove this package first. So remove the Discord package altogether. We are going to install it the manual way. So click Y to remove it. And once that's gone, let's go ahead and update our um, packages first before we continue. While that's updating, let's go and show you the package we have to download. So go to Google and go to the Discord website. And it should be around yeah, the first link. That's just download this, go to talk, chat, and hangouts. And when it says download for Linux, so click on the button and choose tar.gz. The Debian file failed, so we will be installing it with a tar.gz instead. So wait for that to download. It can take a it can take a bit sometimes depending on your internet connection. So just wait for it to download. All right, there we go. So it's finished downloading. I'm gonna list again in my terminal. Before I do, I'll clear it first. And if you see, we now have two downloaded files. So I'm gonna um, show you what to do next. We have to type in sudo, because we want root permissions, tar-xvzf, and then type in the name of the tar.gz. So mine is version 0.0.14. So, and then do dash c, then slash opt. And once you have no errors, then you are free to proceed to the next step, where we are going to basically create a symbolic link. And then the binary file, which is slash user slash bin slash discord. All right. There we go. So the next thing we have to do is create a desktop icon. And also for the menu of Ubuntu, the, so we're using the GNOME desktop. Let's go ahead and first cd to that directory so do slash opt slash discord and if i type in ls you will see the discord dot desktop and that's the file we need to edit all right but before we do that though i'm just going to highlight that so you can see it before we edit the file let's go ahead and first copy that so copy that to slash opt slash discord slash discord dot desktop and we're going to put it in the user share applications directory now that is where you can access it from the menu, all right? So once you've done that, now we can edit the file, all right? So go to that directory first, cd to that directory, and then do sudo nano discord.desktop. Now nano is a text editor, okay? You can use any other text editor you want, but for nano, navigate using the arrow keys, and let's go ahead and change the executable directory, so it'll be user bin. And now we want the desktop icon, so Let's go ahead and edit that. It was opt slash discord slash discord dot png. Now control x to save. It was asked for the file name to write. And let's go ahead and search it up in our GNOME menu. So I'm going to search up discord. And there you have it. It should be installed in Ubuntu. All right. This also works for Mint as well or any other Debian. Uh, I'm sorry, any other Debian based distributions that should work as well. But wait for Discord to load up. It, it can take a bit during the first initialization, but it gets faster, so don't worry about it. Okay, so wait for Discord to start. It says starting. All right, so it will load up and it will also kind of detect your account. Oh, there we go. So now we have the ability to log in, all right? So now you've got Discord set up, and hopefully this video helped you out. And I know it's quite annoying that the Debian file is kind of like failing sometimes but it's also happened in Kali so if you want that version you can check in the description below for the Kali Linux version but I will see you in my next video.